everybody. Matt Walsh from Mount Pleasant Country Club here with my fearless assistant Mark Dueleski for installment number five of our YouTube video lessons. What we're going to talk about today is the full swing. We haven't really talked about full swing too, too much. Mark did a little bit with driving a couple weeks ago, but mainly focusing around the green. So today we're going to visit the full swing. How I teach is just one man's opinion. You can take it with a grain of salt, but I've found some success helping students uh, throughout the years with this pseudo method. So what we're going to do is I work a lot on the setup and I work a lot on the takeaway. I believe that the forward impact on the forward swing is a reaction to how you set up the ball and how you take, it, take the club away. I can walk up and down the range and I can just look at someone's setup and I can see what shot they are trying to prevent. Okay, you know, you see a lot of guys that they aim way right. They're trying not to hit the ball left. What it does is it actually exacerbates the problem. Same with aiming left. So you got to make sure you make your setup as fundamentally sound as possible. A few things I see in all great players is that they keep their upper arms close to their body. You don't see too many players setting up like this. You know, upper arms close to your body. You should be able to VJ sing for every shot. Actually tucks the fabric of his shirt underneath his armpit. That is his golfing shoulder. Jimmy Ballard talks about that a lot. Second thing is you want a nice wide stance. Okay, I see too many people, especially guys with broad shoulders, set up to the ball with a real skinny, skinny width of their stance. What you want, you want a nice wide stance. Okay? Footwork. A lot of people don't talk about that. But I want your back foot to be perpendicular to your target line. I see too many people like this. It doesn't really give you a solid foundation to turn and coil up into. What happens is what happens is your knee will actually move a little bit. So you want that perpendicular target line so you can coil into a stable right side. Hogan talks about that a lot. You want your left foot fanned out a little bit. What happens when you have it fanned out a little bit, you can actually release your hips a little bit more freely towards your target. Okay? Another thing is ball position. I have a six iron in my hand. This ball should be slightly left of my zipper. Most of your wedges, your nine iron, are going to be right off your zipper. Six iron, five iron, four iron. It's going to work incrementally forward until you get to your left instep, which is your driver. Okay? So what I want you to do, elbows close to you. Okay? Check your ball position. Nice wide stance. Perpendicular right foot. Left foot fanned out a little bit. You're going to coil into a static right leg. And from there, you're going to go forward. And your right shoulder is going to be over your left foot. Okay? All great ball strikers have their right shoulder over their left foot in the finished position. I see a lot of people hit the club back like this. The weight is on their left side instead of the right. And as they come through, their shoulder is back. It has to be over your, your left foot. Okay? So let's give it a try. I'm going to coil to a stable right leg. I'm going to go forward, right shoulder over your left foot. If you're taking a lesson from me, you've heard me say this a thousand times, dude. Let's give it a try. Hopefully some of those words helped you. If you need a lesson, a private lesson, call myself in the golf shop or Mark Tuleski, Matt Mackin, 508-869-2000. Hope to see you out on the golf course.